Right, we've reached the end of our short break, our weekend away in Burnham on Sea Haven. Let's go through the good and the bad. So here we are, just coming in for a very cheap weekend in Burnham on Sea Haven. Are we going to have fun? Ruby, thank you. Right. With B Grove. Number 31. It's one of those sort of over there. Here we are! Cheap holiday! Let's see what it is like inside. Let's check in! <laughs> right, so this weekend, middle of March, we've come away for a cheap break at Haven Burnham on Sea. Um, so we've booked this time, we're risking it a bit. We've got a basic sort of saver caravan. Don't know what it's going to be like. Uh, 129 pounds for three nights. Let's give it a go. Let's go and do a first impressions of the caravan. See what we've got. So again, like everywhere these days, self checking. Amy's on the feet. Let's take a gander. A basic saver caravan. Let's see how good it is. It doesn't smell bad. No, looks clean. Looks clean. It's a narrow caravan, 10 foot. Do you know what? This is quite pleasant. I thought it was going to be like roofless or bedless or chairless for basic saver. £129 for three days. It is March. Um, yeah, we're going to see what we can find. What is Burnham on Sea like? Has it got everything, anything to do? Can we keep the kids occupied? And how much will it all cost? I will let Janice give you a tour of the caravan. So all the gears in, I um, have to say, we're quite impressed with this. It's actually a three bedroom uh, caravan, which we weren't expecting. So there's a bit of room. So even though it's narrow, we've got the length. But now we are gonna go and take a look and see what's in the complex and take you for a tour. Let you know what it's like. Let's go. So if you've ever been to Devon Cliffs Haven, I think Burnham on Sea Haven is like its uh, little brother or sister by the looks of it. A bit smaller, a bit smaller. So as you walk in, arcade, arcade. That means money, 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 doesn't it? <laughs> Right, so it, they're trying to go cashless here. So if you want to pay in the arcade, you get one of these cards, you top it up, and then you can just keep topping it up whenever you run out of money. Um, I'll just put 50 pound on. Let's see if that lasts longer than five minutes. 
Let's go. Who's the king of the burger? Me. Are you the queen? You're the princess? I'm loving it, I'm loving it, i it, i Day two, now we're off swimming. Um, trying to avoid the arcades as much as possible because it's costing us a bomb. But let's go and check out the swim pool and see what it's like. Follow up. Shall we do it? Let's go, let's go bro. Right, so because we're here in March, obviously a uh, few of the facilities and activities they have here are actually closed or not open just yet. 
you do have by the looks of it like a great climbing setup over there i think you also have like the big jump again which you find at all havens is it up but not yet at the moment but they do have good play areas and it's obviously got tennis courts and all the other facilities the swimming pool's okay not as good as the um, haven down in devon cliffs but it's still it's very warm and that's one thing that you appreciate when you've got kids um but yeah it's okay we're actually quite surprised it's obviously got so it's also got a trampoline but um, for now, we're just going to take the kids to the play area because it doesn't cost money. Let's go. Take a picture. There you go. One, two, three. Yeah, Amy, I'm watch. The Smile. Okay. Roger. Thank you. Right, we're in the mesh and barrel, about to order food. Oh, I hope it's okay. It does look nice. Plenty of staff in this one. So hopefully it'll be served quickly, but it is very busy. Why? Why are people on holiday in the middle of March? I don't understand it. Really nice. It's like homemade. It's really horrible. Oh, <laughs> How was it? Very good. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's got yeah. big thumbs up for this food. Really impressed with the food here. Yeah. Compared to um, Devon Cliffs Haven, can't believe it's the same chain. In all honesty, this is like really, really nice. It is, it's actually advertised as home cooked, but then so was Devon Cliffs. But this one, yeah, spot on. So it's good to know that if you come here for a four day break during the week, it's two meals for 15 pounds. That's a great deal, isn't it? Might do it. Might do a Monday to Friday job. This could change it. I think the nice Devon food. Cliffs is is lack of staff. That's probably yeah, it. La Devon Cliffs might be lack of staff, or just it's just overwhelmed in Devon Cliffs. Too big, not enough staff to cater for how big the place is. Resist. Burnham on Sea is just about the right size, I think. Forty-five. That is so cute. I'm, <laughs> I'm so gutted that we haven't eaten in here, the other meals. <laughs> Devon Cliffs, Mesh and Barrel, put us off. Sorry. The reputation doesn't carry on. This is really nice food here. I think most of it's homemade. Spot on.
Amy's building a bear, but Amy has to build a unicorn. <laughs> unicorn, unicorn. Good thing about Burnham on Sea Haven, um, it's not just kids entertainment here. If you fancy a tranquil holiday, you can come here and fish as well with these great fishing lakes that they have. Right, we've reached the end of our short break, our weekend away in Burnham on Sea Haven. Let's go through the good and the bad. Firstly, let's start with the caravan. Caravan, we booked up a safer caravan. We were actually dreading it, thinking it was going to be horrific. We had a bronze one in Devon Cliffs Haven, and that wasn't the best. But this one, a saver caravan, actually cheaper. Yeah, like I said, about £130. Really, really good. Three bedroom, very, very clean, and has everything you need within it. It's ideal for a cheap break away. So caravan, there's one neg the one negative about the caravan is the fact that we're actually situated about 30 to 40 yards away from the main track or the roads, the paths going through the park. So every time we come up to it, obviously, because it's March, we're getting mud on our shoes, bringing it into the caravan. So it does end up getting a bit dirty. But looking around, it does look like they're actually building paths to these caravans that are off the main track. So that would be good if that happens. The complex. Complex itself, um, it's not quite as intense as Devon Cliffs Haven because um, you can walk in and you can actually avoid arcades. What a relief to parents' pockets that will be. So you can walk into the arcade, walk through the thing and you can get to the main venue and the mesh and barrel and avoid arcades if you want. Um, it does have Burger King for food, Papa John's for food, uh, Captain Cook's for food and it also has an on-site shop. All perfectly fine, you know what you're getting in the burgers and with the Papa John's. And the mash and barrel, we've had a nasty experience in the mash and barrel before. This time, I have to say, food spot on. Cheap, affordable and really, really tasty. So, thumbs up to them for that. You've got the activities on site. You've got a great pool. Um, it's not quite as big as some of the other pools and other resorts, but it does have one slide and it's very warm. You have to book up the hour sessions in advance. We found that... Fortunately, we booked it up well in advance because we tried looking again yesterday when we or Friday when we arrived, all fully booked up. So please know if you are coming and you want to use the pool, book it up as soon as you can to get those hour slots. Other activities such as build a bear um, and making glass sandcastles and slime and lighting fires and bits and pieces and archery. You can all book all costed again in between. I think between six to 20 pounds, depending on what activity you want to book up. Because it's March, some of the outdoor activities aren't available, such as the rock climbing, and I think you would have the big bounce or the big jump. That's not available at the moment, but I'm sure that'll be starting again in April. It does have the venue, it just has one big venue area uh, in this park, and it's very busy now, so unsure what that's going to be like if it can take the capacity when it does get fully booked in peak seasons. That might be something you might have to take into consideration if you're coming here. We we got in, get in there early, about six o'clock um, for the children's entertainment. They do have bingo on before that, and then they do have a little bit of bingo on again afterwards. They love their bingo, don't they? They do have bingo scattered around throughout these various sessions, but the kids absolutely love the entertainment. So that's another thumbs up. Kids do love Haven Entertainment. In the surrounding area, you have Burnham-on-Sea. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk. Not the best beach. Um, obviously, a lot of the beaches in North Somerset are just known for being very sandy expanses with brown water. Unfortunately, Burnham-on-Sea isn't really much different, but it is a nice little coastal town with a few pubs, like an amusement pier, arcade, which and um, yeah, it's okay. Nearby, you also have Breen. Uh, Breen does have a leisure park. Unfortunately, that's closed up until about the April, you know, March, April, end of March, April period. So there is that you can go to. It does have all the big roller coasters, etc., that you can go on to. And you also have Wookie Hole, Cheddar Gorge, and of course, Western Supermare, all within sort of half hour's driving distance. So there's plenty to do if you wanted to stay for a longer period. But for us, would we come back here again? 
I think we probably would. Um, because the arcades aren't as intrusive or in your face as soon as you enter, it's saved us a lot of money. And it's also worth noting that here, you do actually not need to use cash. You can load up a card, which they give you, which you then just press against the machines and it uses up credits, which is all good, apart from the fact it does feel like you're giving your child a credit card, which I don't think I want to get used to doing that just yet. Otherwise, overall, great break. Really cheap, very affordable, and... Yeah, the kids have loved it, so have we, so we probably will be back. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed our honest review of this Burnham-on-Sea Haven Park. And uh, please like and subscribe to see some more.